Oh, I think I hit another area. Yep. Guten yarning, everybody. As a part of our attempt to reach out and engage with our YouTube community, one of the things we've asked community members to do is to send us footage of themselves harvesting or planting or using some other technique or method that we've talked about or that was inspired by the content that we've created here at Guten Yardening. And a few months ago, one of our community members did just that. She sent us a video of her first ever potato harvest where she harvested some really nice red potatoes from a grow bag. Well, around that same time, we had our own harvest of some fingerling potatoes. Now we had purchased these fingerling potatoes at the store for 99 cents. They were organic fingerling potatoes that were past their sell by date. We planted that one pound of potatoes and we reaped an eight times reward. We got eight pounds of fingerling potatoes out of that single 99 cent investment. And while we were communicating with the individual who sent us that first harvest video, we talked about the possibility of us sending a few of those fingerling potatoes that we had just harvested to her to see what she could do with them. So at the beginning of this growing season, we sent her two of those fingerling potatoes and she promptly planted them in grow bags. Now, she started those grow bags, as you might suspect, above ground, but after growing them for a little while, she decided to dig a hole and place the grow bag into the hole. This would help with keeping the tubers themselves cool while they were developing, which they appreciate, and would also help with moisture retention. And now she sent us her harvest video. So today we're gonna take a look at her first ever fingerling potato harvest. And these are second generation potatoes brought to you by our very own harvested fingerlings here at Guten Yardening. This is the harvest of my very first potatoes planted this year. I believe they are the fingerling potatoes. And as you can see, I had submerged or buried the grow bag in the soil hopefully to retain a little more moisture and give it a little more space for rooting. So I'm going to take a look, probably just dump it out in the hole. I sacrificed this bag, hoping that it would pay off. Oh doing this from the bottom up. Oh, some little fingerlings. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Cute little things. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> That's a funny one. A little growth on it. There's the seed potato, one of them. Oh, 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 more. I stopped counting. This is too exciting. Oh, some little minis. There's another one. Sorry about my filming. I'm not used to recording anything that I do. I just usually do it myself. No one's around to watch. Oh, there's another funny one. Looks like it has warts on the face. I don't want to miss any of them. Little wee baby ones. I'm trying to be careful not to miss anything. Oh, I think I hit another area.
Oh, another one. I think I've just about gotten all of it, but I want to be sure. Oh, there's a little one I wouldn't have wanted to miss. Another seed potato, so we knew there were at least two. Well, I am very pleased. Oh, oh, see what happens if you don't check all of them? I would have missed those two. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep digging. This is like digging for gold. The little mini. He counts too. There's another one. Oh, they have a good way of hiding. Doing it with one hand, I think that's why it's a little difficult to get them all the first time. A few little minis to go with them. Well, I think that's the um, end of the harvest this evening. Look what I got from just planting fingerling potatoes from last year's harvest of my friend. Wow, that's exciting. And I have some more that will be coming soon in several different places. Wow, how exciting is that? From the Twilight Gardener. Well, that was outstanding. This is probably a 20 to one return on investment here in terms of the number of fingerling potatoes. Remember, she started out with only two and look at her harvest. We absolutely love to see results like this. And if you're someone who has been inspired by some of our content and you have some footage of your own growing experience or planting or just want to talk about what you're growing, send us that footage to contact gutengardening at gmail.com. We'll take a look at it and we'll do our best to feature it here on our channel. And one thing I want to remind you is that any monetary gains that we get from those videos go back directly to our community in the form of giveaways that we do occasionally. So we would love to see any content you have that was inspired by us. If you want to send it our way, again, contact gutenyardening at gmail.com. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.